Hi, this is Chris from dashcamcentral.com.au and today we're going to show you how to play back video on your screen of your DoD LS475W. Uh, menu functions in this camera are pretty similar to all of the LS series, so um, pretty much all the others will have a similar setup, so this video really applies to, to most of the LS series in the DoD range. But we've got the 475 in front of us, so that's the one we're going to use today. So to get up and running, we're just going to get some power onto the camera. And you'll see that it's going to come to life. It's going to charge up. The screen's going to come on. And it's going to go straight into recording mode. You see it's flashing away there, which is what it's designed to do. Now, like most dash cams, to get into your menu functions, you do first need to stop the camera recording. Uh, otherwise it's just going to give you a message and it's not going to go into your menu functions. So I'll just demonstrate that. If you do want to go in and do playback, you do that by using the mode button. Push it now, you get a little menu that says it can't access menus while it's recording. So all we're going to do here is push the record button, stop that camera from recording, you can see that it stopped recording. So, to go into the playback mode, so you can watch videos on your LCD screen on your camera, again, push that mode button. What the camera's going to do, it's going to go into playback mode, and you can see that you've got playback mode up here. You've got play, fast forward, uh, a slow down, and stop functions, and it gives you a little bit of information. So, this is video number 10. Now, what it does is it just goes to the first frame of each video It's there. It doesn't give you a, a playlist as such. But to scroll through the playlist, all you need to do is use your up and down arrows. So you can see we've got video number 10 there, video 2, video 5, video 6, video 7, 8, 9, and 10. So there's a few videos missing. That's because we've already deleted some in that range. So what we'll do is we'll just go to video number 5 here. And you can see we're on the first frame. If we then want to watch that video, all we need to do is push the record, which is now the OK button. And you can see we're going into playback mode, so you can see that's happily playing away, and you can see it's ticking over there. What you can do from there is use your up and down arrows, you can fast forward through that video, 2, 4, by 8, and you see 8's the maximum, but if you just go back, you can go back to by 4, by 2, back to normal play, and if you want to jump back to the start of the video, just push that back button again. goes back by the same speed and you see it's scrolling back. So we'll just introduce that back. Now if you want to stop that recording just push that OK button again and you see that it's pause and stop recording. So the other thing that you can do while you are watching and playing back your videos, if we just stop this one, if we push that mode button just to go out of the function there, just go back to normal play mode <coughs> and back in. You can see we're back into the playback function and we're just going to select that video number 5 again. Now if you push the menu button instead of the record button, what it does is it brings you up some options. So you can actually go down, you can delete that, you can protect it, or you can run through a slideshow of that particular video. So if we go into slideshow, you can see uh, a couple of options there, so it'll just jump and give you still frames every two seconds, five seconds, or eight seconds. So we'll just we'll back out of that one at the moment. And uh, what we will do is we'll show you how to delete a video. But we'll go into a locked video, so we'll go into video number two, and you see you get a little lock in there. So that's a read-only video. That's one that you've locked for an emergency or a G-Shock or for some reason. And we're going to go into our menu. We're going to try and delete that one. So we go on to delete, push OK, say delete all, or delete current. We're going to delete the current because we don't want to delete every video on here. Push that, delete this video, click OK, and it tells you it's a protected file. So you can't accidentally delete that video. What you do need to do is go in to your protect, and it'll ask you if you want to lock the current file. It's already locked. Do you want to unlock it? Lock all the files or unlock them all in this case. We're just going to unlock this one. And now we're going to go back up to delete. And to delete again. Again, we don't want to delete all. We want to delete the current. Push that. Delete this video. Yes, we do. And 
that video is now being deleted. So if we go back to the menu, you'll see that we've jumped to video 5. If we go back and try and have a look at number 2, we'll see we've got number 6, number 7, 8, 9, 10. It goes back to 5. So that previously locked file we've unlocked and we've deleted it. So you can go through and delete your videos one at a time. You can lock them all, unlock them all. So you've got all that functionality in there. And then when you're done, just go back, push your mode button and it will take you back into standard playback. So that's how you can view, uh, lock, unlock and delete videos on the screen of your DoD LS475W. And this is Chris from dashcamcentral.com.au.